Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're just doing another one. I'm doing these until I die, basically. Just kidding, but I mean, I'm doing them all. So, uh, check the description. Two dollars to for my Patreon. I do the premium ones, and then uh, join the Discord if you want to do that as well. This is verifying an alien dictionary. Let's get into it. This is easy. Look, okay. In an alien language, surprisingly, they also use English lowercase letters. That's pretty weird, but possibly in a different order. Okay, so they use the English language. The aliens use the same language, but different order. The order of the alphabet is a permutation of lowercase letters. Okay. Given a sequence of words written in the alien language and the order of the alphabet return true if and only if the words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. Okay. Um, so we have words and yeah we get the alphabet okay so we get the alphabet how they actually how the alphabet looks how their alphabet is it's 26 lowercase letters just different uh variation um so we just have to make sure they're sorted according to the aliens l version of the alphabet lexicographically lexicographically okay that's not even that hard honestly that's okay this isn't that hard okay the um this one is true because if you went through it would be sorted. I mean, it's pretty almost intuitive. How do we do it normally? If this was the English alphabet, how would we make sure it's sorted normally? How does it, how do we do it? Well, we use a comparator. Um, if you guys don't know what comparator is, it's just a method that evaluates, uh, you know, character comparison usually and returns a positive or negative value based on whether the um values align or and then we use it to you know do things like sorting and making sure that a string is sorted or um stuff like that so that's the way we're going to do it today whenever you have to deal with strings and lexicographically ordering things you know think of um i'd say think of comparators have it in the back of your mind okay so for this what all we have to do here's the idea we're going to take a character map and uh, we're going to map each letter to where it would be in the English alphabet, okay? So, like, we'll declare an int, and we'll call uh, array, and call it char map, and we will initialize it here. So we'll say char map is equal to new int of 26 for this 26 letters of the alphabet, because it's the same size. Then we will loop through the order string, so i less than order dot length, um, i plus plus, and we'll say um, char map of order dot char at i. So the current letter, this is the current, right? Everyone knows this is the current letter in order. We're looping through their alphabet, the current letter in their alphabet. We're looking it up the index of it. We're going to look up the index of it by um, doing minus a. That gives us the index. This gives us the index because order.char, the current character minus a gives us the index it would be in our alphabet. So this is where it would be in our alphabet in this array because it's 26 letters. If this was, if the first letter was a, a minus a is zero, and that would be the index in our alphabet, index zero. And what we're going to set it to is where it is in their alphabet. So we map it. So where our, where it is in our alphabet, we put the integer that it represent, represents in their alphabet. So for example, H, I don't know what letter that would be in our alphabet. A is zero, B is one, C is two, <laughs> D is three, E is four, F is five, G is six, H is seven, I is eight. Oh, H is seven. Okay, H is seven. Okay, so char map of seven is going to be equal to zero for them you know so there you go now we know the um value of it lexicographically because these indexes these value the integer values are ascii values that we use for our language we want to use to sort in this language and make sure everything's sorted um so yeah once we have that mapping it's going to be not too bad all we have to do now is just loop through the strings so we could do i we want to sort we want to check two at a time right this is how you would do it with our language too you check two words at a time so we'll pass in we'll set up our compare method so we'll make a separate method modularize a little bit um str 
string, we'll say word one, or you could say S1, we'll do word one, uh, string word one, and then we'll say uh, string word two, and this will be return the comparison value. We will loop from one to um, words.length and um, you know pass in the values, yeah. So we'll do, okay, if compare of word of i minus one so the we're gonna do you know i minus one first because it's the first occurrence in the um array and then actually just the words of i if this value that we return here is greater than zero we're gonna return false so this means that it is not sorted if we return a value greater than zero so we have to implement that logic here and if we make it through the whole thing we'll return true it is sorted so we'll implement the logic here. How to do that? Well, we need a pointer to go through each string. So these are the words we want to check if they're sorted. This one comes first, this one comes second. Um, J is equal to zero. While I is less, I is going to be looping through word one. So while I is less than word one dot length and J is less than word two dot length, we can loop through, right? We can do I plus plus, J plus plus, and we're looping through. And now we can compare each character. We're also going to want to do char compare val or something like that. This is going to be the value that we return um, at the end, depending on if there's any characters that are not equal. Um, so what we'll do is we'll add to the condition. We'll say, okay, if char compare value, the char compare value has to be equal to zero. Otherwise, we found a difference in characters. So the characters will be the same until we find a difference in characters. So we'll keep doing, we'll do char compare val is equal to word, um, until we find a difference in character and then we'll break out of the loop and we'll check, okay, if char compare val is equal to zero, okay, that means that it was equal to zero. We looped through the whole, both of the strings and you know, maybe they were the same length. So in that case, it would be sorted. So, what we want to do is we want to return word one dot length minus word two dot length. And we do this because if they weren't the same length, this, the first string should be less than the second string, right? So in an array, for example, if we see H E L and then H E L L O, this is correct. So the first string, this should return a negative value because word one dot length minus word two dot length would be negative two, and that would be fine. We'd keep looping, but if it was the other way around, hello, we would want to, um, this loop would break out because we'd get to the end of the words um, because we're just looping through the words and there's an and condition here, and we would be like, okay, check the comparator value. Okay, it's zero because the first three letters were the same, but we broke out because we've reached the end of one. But the word one dot length is five uh, minus three. That's two. That's greater than zero. That's wrong. And this is wrong. Okay, there you go. That was That's just an example of why this logic makes sense. Else we return the actual compare val um, because that means we actually have a compare val and we broke out because it's no longer equal to zero. And, you know, it's it's as easy as that. And then all we have to do is put the logic for implementing the compare val. The compare val is going to be the char map that we built up here. We made it public to the class so we can access it from this method. You could pass it into the method as well if you want to take it as a parameter here. But um, we're going to do the char map of word one dot char at i minus a minus the char map of word two dot char at a j minus a and these have remember that these this is going to retrieve the values lexicographically for them in the alien language so this minus this will um, be correct logic for implementing this uh, char compare val and I think that should be it. I think this should succeed. Got a bunch of errors here. because I was trying to figure this out earlier. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, hopefully it succeeds. I mean, I don't know what's taking so long. Is there some Wi-Fi breakdown? Or am I... I think that it's frozen. So I have to refresh. 
I mean, I don't want to do the video over again. Sorry, guys. The issue was the Wi-Fi. So, okay, let's see what the problem is. Int cannot be converted to Boolean. So, I mean, you're sitting me sitting watching me do errors. There you go. Okay, there is a Wi-Fi error for you. You know, there it's not a it's not a Nick White algorithm solution. If you're not seeing you know, Wi-Fi breakdowns, syntax errors, uh, shaky explanations, and, you know, when I submit, you better, you best be knowing that you're going to see a bunch of red errors right there. So, let me know what you guys think. This was particularly bad with the errors, but I think I should have gotten my point across. You're mapping the, uh, you're just mapping the correct, um, uh, values into an array and then you're checking them using a comparator uh, method so let me know what you guys think uh, thank you guys for watching I don't even think I'm going to edit this so enjoy watching the Wi-Fi errors alright see ya